Good day everyone. So today we will be discussing my architectural design concept. Design concept is the traditional group in a houses. One of the traditional clip in a houses is the Bahikubo, utilized since the pre-Hispanic era. The Bahikubo remains the house most identified with the Filipino culture. Next houses are the the Bahinabato. It, it is typically has two floors. The ground level was made of massive cut stone or brick walls and the upper built with hardwood. So ito po yung isa sa mga na-influence ng mga Spanish or American architecture po sa atin. Then, design objective. The design objectives are to design a coffee shop that is environment friendly that shows the users the feeling of nostalgia while having their coffee break. Since we are having this break for relaxation and stressful labor. We built an environment that shows their childhood days or a province like a house, like house, which give us some peaceful vibes away from the city. To create the physical environment in which people have their excess time showing their di different local building materials and furniture since it's also part of our culture. Next is the importance of coffee shop. Today, coffee has become an important part of societal norms. A coffee break during working hours help sustain energy throughout the day. Also, it's a focal point for entertaining and the next is it creates social ambiance. Why do workers need coffee? Drinking caffeine can help employees stay focused and concentrate better. Since caffeine is a stimulant, coffee blocks this effect and can make a person feel alert. Coffee can help employees stay awake because it increases their brain activity and causes an energy boost. Next is how does a coffee shop help the community? A great coffee shop becomes a hub for social interaction and all kinds of great things can happen as a result of this interaction. People feel more connected and less stressed. Friendships are formed and strengthened. Community problems are solved and business deals are struck. Next is design consideration. Number one is the natural ventilation. So since Ang concept nga po is bahay kubo. So parang kilala yung bahay kubo bilang for having a natural ventilation and parang more on passive cooling system po siya. Then next is natural lighting po. Yung since ano nga po more on windows po yung coffee shop po natin. So malalas po yung use ng ano, artificial light. Next is yung eco-friendly. So, eco-friendly kasi po yung sa mga building materials po na gagamitin sa coffee shop. Ito po yung mga building materials. One is the sliding wooden pa wood pa panel door. So, parang ganyan po yung magiging idea po ng ano, door po. So, parang sliding door po siya. Then, yung window po is yung more on glass. Tapos, siguro ganitong style po or yung parang kapis window kapis window po siya or para makapas po yung natural light po sa loob next is yung mahogany wood plank so gagamitin po natin ito dun sa ano natin sa flooring po ng coffee shop next is yung rattan so number one used po nito is sa furniture po natin so maganda po siya kasi matibay po siya matibay po and then parang water resistant po siya tapos magagamitin po natin to sa iba't ibang mga furniture tulad sa ano parang mga yung divider ng mga area tapos next is yung nipahag so ito po yung gagamitin natin sa harap po natin so para at the same time maganda po yung ventilation sa loob para tendency po magiging high ceiling po siya Next is yung bamboo. So, gagamitin din, magagamit po to sa mga, ano, parang furnitures din po, then sa poste po. So, at the same time, yun nga po, eh, magiging eco-friendly yung ating project. Tapos, ito po yung mga perspective. Sa front side po, then, yun nga po, yung mahogany wood plank dito po, yung flooring po natin. Then, sa right side, yung sliding wooden panel door. Next is yung rear side and left side. So, ni pahat po. Ni paruk. Then, yung ano, rattan table and chair nga po. 
So, uh, nasa outside po siya. Parang alfresco po siya. Tapos, sa left side, um, yun nga po, parang uh, ang pinaka, ano po rito, highlight is yung landscape po sa na mag sa separate from main road. Tsaka meron, nag-provide din po ako ng bike lane and pedestrian lane. Para may noise battle po siya dyan. Then, pollution po from, ano, vehicular environment. Then, next po is yung site development plan. So, ito po siya yung site po natin, yung coffee shop. Then, residential area. So, bali, may, yung green po is yung landscape. Then, yung light green is yung site po natin. Then, blue for offices. Then, pink for tourist spot. So, parang yung tourist spot po natin, yung harap po niya is, Ginawa ko po siyang landscape or ginawa ko po parang magiging activity area po siya since maganda po area po to dahil katabi po siya ng office then katawid lang po itong coffee shop natin so magandang ano siya area para sa recreational area ng mga tao dito. Then yung sa residential po gagawin ko po rito is maganda po sa residential ay may green space po or open space po. So, magiging, ito po yung magiging ano nila, green space. So, at the same time, yung accessible po nila sa main road is dito sa side ng coffee shop natin, dalawa. Tapos, nag-provide po ako ng crosswalk para sa offices, then papunta sa tourist spot or sa activity area for residential and then sa coffee shop po access. Tapos, ito is for pedestrian, then yung outer, ano, yung mas malaking area na or space is for yung bike lane po natin so mapapasin natin yung both side ng main road natin is my bike lane then yung offices ayan po tapos pedestrian lang po to then ito po magiging part ng offices then bike lane pa ikot dito sa activity area then connected sa tourist spot then tatawid po siya rito iikot din po siya sa coffee shop then may access po yung bike lane dito sa residential so para at the same time magagamit ng mga occupants dito so ito po yung site analysis po natin north east west and south then um yung sun pot po ang east ay nandito so east and west so para magiging safe po yung front and rear side natin sa init ng araw then um na sa for for air flow is now ano south northeast and northeast papunta po rito then south west so yung south west makikita po natin papansin natin na tatama siya sa pinaka front side ng coffee shop which is magandang ano maganda siya para for natural ventilation na po tapos para fresco po. Then, may window po yun parehas dito sa magkatabi. So, maganda rin po yung flow pasok niyan. Then, sa kapag na, northeast naman po, yun nga po, tatama po siya dun sa alfresco po natin, sa part po natin. Then, may entrance din po yun. So, dalawa po yung entrance para since, ano, pinalilibutan siya ng mga offices, residential, dun sa tourist spot. So, magandang area po yun. Magandang idea po para sa coffee shop natin. Yun po. Then, ito po yung parang ginawa kong green space po or park ng for ano, residential area. Then, yun nga po activity area po. So, kung may events or dito po daan din dalawa po yung crossing natin. And then, ito po yung offices. Then, yung tourist spot. Tapos, ito po yung site elevation. So, ayan. Parang, ano, may trees sa ilalim nung ito po yung, ano, ang pedestrian or jogging lane. Then, ano, bike lane po. Then, ito po yung main road. So, ganoon din po sa pagtawid. Magkabilaan po sila. May bike lane then pedestrian. So, bike lane sa tabi nung, yun yung magiging buffer ng pedestrian sa vehicular environment. Then, ito po yung front side po ng coffee shop po natin.
Tapos, ito po yung tsura ng pedestrian crossing. So, dito po yung part na to, by claiming, ano, parang red flames. Tapos, yung concrete po is yung, so yung kulay, ano, white or pedestrian. That's all po, sir. Thank you po.